Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and to the top 10 greatest New Zealand All Blacks of all time. Today we're going to be covering a man by the name of Sean Fitzpatrick. The first memory, before we get into everything, I want to, I want to just talk about a personal memory of mine. I remember having my first ever All Blacks team poster on my wall as possibly a, a five-year-old I think yeah 1995 was when I first started following rugby and I remember seeing Sean Fitzpatrick who was All Blacks captain All Blacks captain at the time which is a huge honor there haven't been many All Blacks captains and uh, I remember reading his name I'd heard his name be called by the commentators but I'd never read it and it was spelled S-E-A-N and I thought for the very first time in my life why is it spelt like that? That's that's seen. That's not Sean, that's seen. And that will always stick in my mind. Because ever since then I've realized that S-E-A-N is actually pronounced Sean. So there's a little memory for you. Now, Sean Fitzpatrick is still, even past his retirement, uh, involved in the game of rugby. He is an absolute legend. And uh, he's also a legendary, not only in New Zealand, but also South Africa. Sean Fitzpatrick, or Sean Brian Thomas Fitzpatrick, was born on the 4th of June 1963 in Auckland, New Zealand. He plays provincial rugby for Auckland, and uh, we'll get into that later. He was listed at 1.83 metres tall, or 6 foot on the dot, and 105 kilograms, so that's over 230 pounds. He had pace, he had skill that was not meant to be associated with a player in his position, which was hooker. A hooker is right at the front of that scrum. You see, you see those two big, huge groups of forwards go in like that? He's right at the front, holding that down for the team. So he played hooker, all black number 871. He played a total of 92 test matches for New Zealand, which at the time was a world record, between the years of 1986 in 1997. During his test career he scored a total of 11 tries which as a hooker proved his skill set. In 1992 Sean Fitzpatrick was given the captaincy of the All Blacks as I mentioned before and he held that captaincy until he retired in 1997. Sean Fitzpatrick just as a lot of these top 10 uh, All Blacks of all time were was uh, made an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit in 1997. He remains an icon in New Zealand rugby and uh, will forever go down as one of the greatest New Zealand All Blacks and one of the greatest hookers, one of the greatest international rugby players of all time. He had a certain influence over people. He, he was tough. He was tough. He was captain of the All Blacks and, and that says enough on its own. Not only was he honoured with the New Zealand Order of Merit. He also, throughout his career, won an absolutely ridiculous amount of championships, not only with his provincial side Auckland, but also with the All Blacks against Australia, which is a cup called the Bledisloe Cup. It's played every year, a series of either two or three matches between Australia and New Zealand. It is a huge deal. It still is. And uh, I think New Zealand, at this point, have actually... <laughs> It's 2019, we've retained it this year, and ever since 2002, New Zealand has not lost the Bledisloe Cup to Australia. That's 17 years on the trot. That is the dominance of All Blacks rugby. Now let's go back to Sean's career. He played for New Zealand from 1986 to 1997, and in that time, he also played for Auckland, as I mentioned. He won the National Provincial Championship, the NPC Trophy, with Auckland in 1987, 1988, 89, 90, 93, 94, 95 and 96. And that is dynasty. That is a dynasty with Auckland rugby. From that point, Canterbury, the place that I'm from in the South Island of New Zealand, has actually become somewhat of a dynasty uh, team. Not only did he win all of those trophies with Auckland, but he also took New Zealand to the Bledisloe Cup in 1987, 88, 89, 90, 91, 93, 95, 96 and 97. So he definitely went out on top. 
He also was a member of the inaugural World Cup squad, which won in 1987. As well as all those trophies, Sean Fitzpatrick holds, currently, uh, the international record for the most consecutive test matches played by a rugby player, not just for New Zealand but internationally, which is 63 successive test matches between 1986 and 1996. He also holds, as a part of the All Blacks team, uh, the international team record for the most consecutive test wins in a row, without defeat, which was 23 uh, between 1987 and 1990. Now these days, the New Zealand All Blacks team will play maybe 10, maybe 15 tests throughout a year. Uh, back in the day, back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, there was a lot less test matches played. So guys, the video excerpts you're going to see are from this DVD that I managed to pick up not too long ago from a second hand store for a dollar. And as soon as I watched it, it gave, gave me goosebumps and uh, I know it's going to give you some goosebumps too. Now Sean Fitzpatrick wasn't the flashiest of players, but he was definitely ahead of his time as far as the position of hooker. And uh, like I mentioned before, Sean Fitzpatrick is the reason why I know that Sean, spelt S-E-A-N, is pronounced Sean. So that's a personal story for you. I absolutely love rugby. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. This is a passion project for me. The 2019 Rugby World Cup begins tomorrow. And go All Blacks. Enjoy. The best in the world, New Zealand, here to continue their triumphant run. Sean Fitzpatrick leads them out. His 56th consecutive international, that in itself a world record, and a side that's been all conquering. Ten games played, ten triumphs. Sean Fitzpatrick was, in his own way, just as tough and uncompromising a player as the great Colin Meads. In a poll of rugby's greatest ever hookers, Fitzpatrick would be in the mix for certain. Rouge Thomas, just a little chip. Taken in by Pierce, he's playing on bravely. Bus, Sarah Kerwin. Outside the 22. Bus, they've got numbers of 4 and 2. Get him up. Right. Good defence by Perrault. Son of a former All Black, Brian Fitzpatrick, Sean made his debut for New Zealand in 1986 and would remain at the heart of the team for another 11 years. Like many great captains, Fitzpatrick led by example, and when he had to retire through injury in 1997, he had collected a world record 92 caps, the most capped All Black of all time. It's Goody that gets hands to that again, quickly supported by Oswald, finally released to right. Offers New Zealand the momentum there, the kick going backwards. Perfectly laid back. Bottica again with space. The inside support from Little. Fitzpatrick on one side, Bottica on the other. So is Gallagher. This is Fitzpatrick then. Still going with Earl on the outside. Meter short. Can he get there? Yes, again. Well, the floodgates already opening. It's just 17 minutes gone. And the New Zealand hooker there running virtually unopposed. And. Uh, Really, it's difficult times for the home side. And this was disappointing because it was a bad kick which initially gave New Zealand possession, but the backs are looking very, very sharp. And look for the support inside and outside. There's one pass on the inside. Just watch again, Little. There he is, Gallagher. He knows he's dead on the blind, so he looks inside. And look, that's a hooker who's got there, and he's very strong, is Sean Fitzpatrick. Look, you'll see the rest of the pack. There he is. There he comes round in, number five, number four. Tremendous strength, and he drives over, punishing the Pontypool errors. 
Austin, neat little dummy, cheeky running this, and uh, what a confident player, trundling up the middle, classic hooker start, it's Fitzpatrick over the corner, Wilson's outside, but Fitzpatrick wanted it all himself, and London really, well, London really so lucky, and Fitzpatrick, I think, thought, I'm going to have a great moment of glory at and who can blame him, the game is won. I think he was thinking about the chapter in the book here that uh, I was trying to emulate Wilson Winneray's dummy in the Barbarians game in 63, but really should have offloaded the ball there to Jeff Wilson. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.